Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this Advent Calendar tutorial I will show you how you can pop up, present a UI alert controller inside a SpriteKit project. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we need to commit our changes that we have made yesterday. So I will just name this. Well, I will just uh, enter a commit message here, day 15. Okay, push to remote and commit five files and push. Okay, that is it. Now we need to create as usual, a new branch from the previous branch that will be day 16. Okay, let's create it. And we are ready to make our changes for today's tutorial. Now, we want to add a UI alert controller and we want to do that inside our gameplay scene. And we want to do that when we tap on the back button. So we want to alert the user that uh, we, we are going to transition to the main menu and all of the gameplay data will be lost. So, what we need to create here, I will just go here and type out a new function and it will be called and we will show the alert inside our button action completion handler. So I will just comment this out and we will just show our alert here. We need to use self because we are inside this completion handler. Okay, and inside show alert, I want to uh, call a function from our ACT manager. So we want to put the function that implements all of this inside the ACT manager because we want to uh, grab our show uh, alert function uh, anywhere from the code. So we will come back here later on. Now we need to go into the ACT manager and let's just scroll down to button and let us just create a new function and I will just call this show alert again and create this function. And now let us just build out a UI alert controller first. And we will use this one, title, message and preferred style. So the title will be a string and the message also a string. So I will just add here. Maybe the message should be an optional, okay. And now, well, not preferred style. Here we are, we have uh, set up our alert. Now all we need to do is, uh, first of all, uh, let's create some actions to this alert. So what we need to do here is add actions and we will add in here an array of UI alert actions, UI alert actions. Okay, we need to add an array of them because we might want to add more than one action to our alert. So, alert. Uh, we will just go through all of the actions. Actions. Let me just delete that I from there. So, for action in actions. We will look through all of the actions and we are going to uh, add action, add, oh, sorry about that, alert, add action and the action. Okay, too much action here. And finally, we want to present this alert on our view controller. But we are inside, first of all, we are inside ACT Manager, but we will be inside an SKC. So we need to present it on top of this SK scene. What we can grab inside our SK scene is this scene on scene, and it will be an SK scene. 
and we can grab the scene and grab the view controller, the root view controller from our scene. So we will just go like this scene dot view dot window dot root view controller dot and now we can present our uh, action uh, our alert here present and we will add here our alert animated well we should ask that too here so animated and that will be a boolean Let's copy this out and paste it here and we should add a completion. Now let's uh, find out what this completion needs to look like. So I will just right click on it and jump to definition. And as you can see, it looks like this. Okay, I will just copy this out and paste it back here. Okay, and now we can let me just fix that comma and now we can just add the completion here. Good stuff. Now, one last thing, let's just build and run and uh, take care of that error. Let me just see. Okay, we can add this to be led because we are not changing it. And now, one thing we might add is a little delay on the pop-up if we wanted to. So. What we need is our, first of all, let's create our delay. And our delay needs to be a double. So I will just add this before the completion handle and it will be a delay and it will be of double. Okay. And now we need to call and now we want to choose this one, a sync after and the deadline. So the deadline will be the wait and we will execute this line of code then. Okay, let's copy this out and well, let's cut it out and paste it. And now we are able to construct and show an alert inside our gameplay. So let's do that now, okay? And I will just go back here to the show alert and let's just build so we may get the completions from Xcode, okay? And ACT manager dot shared dot and here we have our show alert and I will use the one with the completion handler now, okay? Show alert on scene that will be self the title will be and the message will be and the preferred style should be dot alert not action sheet at this time and here we need to create some actions okay first of all let's create a new action let and with a title now let's add in the title name of okay and this uh, the style should be default okay or maybe console or destructive anyone anyway should be okay and we will add a handler here too uh, let me type in here result and in the code section we will just simply print out and we will add here inside our array, array OK action animated should be animated, true. Delay should be, let's say, three seconds so we may see the delay now, okay? And the completion, let's print out here. Pretty straightforward. Now let us just build our Xcode project inside our iPhone 10 simulator and see what happens when we tap on the back button. Okay, let's go to the gameplay and let's tap one, two, three, and we got our alert. Going back, you are leaving gameplay. Okay, now we want to implement, of course, the logic. So when the OK action button was pressed, we want to just copy this out, just color cut it. Okay, and paste it in here and let's delete the comments. So we will transition to the main menu. 
Now, one thing you have noticed that when we try to uh, show the use the show alert, we get two options, and that is because our let's just go back here into ACT Manager, our completion handler is an optional. Now we uh, want to set some standards because we don't want to always type in animated or a delay. We maybe want to not have any delay at all. So we will add here some things, and that will be the UI alert controller style should be alert and the actions uh, those are needed of course and the animated should be true by default and the value should be 0.0, .0 by default okay now let's go back to our gameplay and let's just let's build and run build again and let's just start Typing out and let's see what we have. ACT manager dot shared and dot and now we have two types. One the short version and the other with all of the other options. So if we chose the short version, we have on scene, title, message, and actions, and all of the other elements are completed as default. Okay, there you have it. Now you can show a UI alert controller, be it an action or be it an act, a sheet, then you can show it inside your SK scene. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like and uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. I will see you in the next video.